Okay, here we have the Lincoln Cobot. Doing some demos with it today. Pretty cool machine. Pretty simple to use. Running a Power Wave 450 power source. It's also running a cooling system for the MIG gun. This one's running 035 solid wire. So they got the new welding technology, and then you got to fan it uh, with a 10 ion. Yep. So, um, what's different about this versus your traditional is the way you move this. If you notice on your other um, robot in there, you have guarding, you have you know, uh, things around it that keep you away from the arm moving around. This arm actually will just, it, it's got some sensing on it that it'll just stop. So, all that guarding is required. Like, if it just were to hit my my wrist or my arm in its motion, it's just gonna stop. Where traditional robots will keep going through you until they crash, correct? So, um, what you do is we're almost in a home position right here. have what's called air moves and also weld moves. So right now we're in this position. We'll want to use that as a just an air move. So I'll just touch this icon right there. Oh, I can drag it up, sorry. And that's your, uh, that's your starting point. So I set this up here with a couple clamps. There's a lot of different ways to clamp this. But we'll make another air move coming to our weld approach. So you just grab this, this switch right here and you can maneuver this arm the way you want. And it's not, it's not tracking anything until I put, you know, put it where I want and I select the point. Got to kind of manipulate the arm a little bit. Put it right where we want it. Right there. And then we will do a weld start. I'll use a different icon now. Or, excuse me, instead of using this, you can also hold this button down for three seconds. And that just did a weld start. <clears throat> Grab the arm again, take it to our next spot. This is a linear weld. We'll take it to there, hold this for three seconds again. Weld stop. That simple. At that point, you'd want to move it away. You can do a couple air stops if you want. Just touch it. And like back home and touch it again. <clears throat> so after that, the only other thing to do on this simple weld is a weld procedure. You get into the weld start mode, and you can see I can just try to get way back here. But well procedures, I'm just going to do a couple presets. We have a constant voltage, and then we have uh, what's called hot and fast. So we also have to do that in your stock mode. And the reason for that is you can actually do a longer weld, and you can actually change your weld procedures. So say you need to start, you know, hot, and then as it's going, you want to cool off, or you can even change from like, you know, short circuit into a uh, pulse weld. Or go right into spray mode and change your weld without actually stopping the weld. You can, it'll actually do, you can do three, four different types of welds all in one pass without stopping them or the, the arc. So the, the travel angles, the work angles that you set at the beginning and at the end, it maintains that all is part of the, yeah, the program. So the angle he was at here 
and the angle it finished here, it, while it's making that journey, it's actually going to adjust. So, you know, that's why it's good to have a good start and a good stopping position because it will, it will move to whatever it was showing. Okay. And then the other thing too, there's safety features. So right now it's not in a weld mode. It won't strike an arc. We can actually go through and watch the motion without um, doing a weld. So I'll just run that real quick for you guys. There's that one point and then back to home. So essentially now we really just enable weld mode and essentially we're, we're ready to weld. So it's following the same path basically that... that it's doing linear moves through where I've been moving. Where, wherever you move it And to. you can, you know, I could have made eight points coming into this, you know, I just did one and shot right to it, but, but wherever, on the way out, like I did two, I mean, you, you can maneuver this thing all you want. So wherever you store a point, that's that's yeah. where it's going to be going. Right. If you would have done a start, we could have actually just done a movement, and you could have actually brought it around, and it would have continued the weld all in, as one weld. It would have probably been a little sloppier, but yeah, it's usually better to start to stop. But yeah. we're basically here making sure this thing's working today. So um, we're in weld mode. I know you guys don't have any any shields on or anything. I think but. you guys want to want to see a weld. Yeah, just cover up your. Cover up your eyes. It's a helmet if anyone wants to watch. Go ahead. I got, I got, I got one more. And we're running 035 solid wire. Yeah, L59, Lincoln's L59. With 92.8 uh, gas. Running in short circuit, or is this a pulse? Constant voltage. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can do whatever you want right. in here, but we are just again, we're trying to get this thing running, just picking some Yep. Out. Yep. Cool. Nice, nice. How was that? Yeah, but still, the functionality of it is what yes. we're trying to get through here and yes. how easy it is. That's really cool. Really cool.